Yes, you're welcome back to The Breakfast. We now have Mr. Arwan back on the line. Good morning. Can you hear us? Yes, good morning. I can hear you. Great. So we're just asking for, you know, details into, you know, the two attacks we've seen in Kaduna. Please fill us in. Okay. Um, on Tuesday, uh, 20th of April, uh, 2021, at around 8.30 p.m., we received a distress call that armed bandits were attacking Greenfield University, located at Kasarami village uh, of Kaduna Abuja Road. Uh, immediately, uh, troops of Operation Thunder Spike and other security operatives were deployed to the location. Uh, on getting there, the bandits uh, had escaped. And after search and rescue, uh, a staff member of the university uh, was found to have been killed by the bandits and uh, unspecified number of uh, students uh, were unaccounted for. And uh, immediately, uh, troops and other elements have been working in the general uh, area. Uh, this is what we have been doing uh, to this moment. Uh, then yesterday, in the early hours of uh, yesterday being uh, Thursday, 22nd of April, 2021, we also received a distress call uh, from the medical director of Idon General Hospital. Uh, the hospital is a Kaduna State Government uh, rural uh, hospital. Uh, the medical director informed us that two nurses uh, were kidnapped by armed bandits uh, in the said uh, rural uh, hospital. Uh, so far, this is the update, and security agencies are working in both uh, locations, uh, working very hard to uh, really uh, locate the bandit and subsequently uh, rest to rescue uh, those in captives. Uh, this is the situation as we speak. Okay, what exactly um, you know, are the efforts you know, that you can share with us now with regards to the Greenfields incident? Um, are there hot spots you know, that you know, the security, uh, situation, or security agencies in uh, Kaduna State believe that these people may have been uh, taken to? Um, is, there, is, there, is there a possibility of negotiating with these uh, uh, kidnappers? Well, uh, uh, certainly, I can uh, tell you that uh, we have uh, locations in mind uh, based on uh, tracking, but I will not be able to go into further uh, details so that uh, we don't undermine what uh, we are doing uh, now. Uh, for the issue of uh, negotiation, or paying bandits, the position of Kaduna State Government uh, is very uh, clear. We've, we've made our position long uh, before now that we will not in any way uh, contribute in the sustenance of uh, the banditry business of uh, this uh, element. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's what, you know, the governor, Nasser Arufai, has said, you know, um, consistently. But, I mean, what exactly should you, or would you say, should be the answer then? Because it's, it's not in any way stopping the kidnapping from happening. The fact that the government has said there's not going to be negotiation has not reduced, you know, I, I don't know if you would agree, has not really reduced the occurrence of these kidnappings uh, in Kaduna State. And so, how do residents there feel? And what do they expect? every time that a, a situation like this arises? Well, uh, it is not about agreeing or disagreeing with you. Uh, it's about looking at the bigger picture. It's about uh, looking at the general security of uh, the state and uh, also what the state government feel after a thorough reflection uh, to be the final solution 
uh, to this uh, problem. I mm -hmm. can assure you that we are not sleeping. We are on our feet, working with the military and other security agencies. And uh, we are making uh, success or inroad in what uh, we are doing. Uh, in a couple of days, we will be releasing a detailed security situation report of first quarter of 2021. We will list out a number of bandits that were killed by ground troops and the police. We will also mention with locations, uh, uh, places where a lot of bandits were neutralized in the course of air interdictions. And I also want you to know this, that uh, paying ransom uh, is not the solution to this, Kakeshi Moten, is not the solution to this problem. There are states that have made attempt to negotiate with bandits. Uh, to some extent, uh, they even uh, grant them amnesty. But has that solved the problem? It has not solved the problem. Uh, on Tuesday, about 35 people were killed by bandits in a particular state that I don't want to mention. Uh, on Wednesday, 45 were killed. And as at uh, yesterday, the dirt toll is running to 80 plus. So you can see, and you can ask the question, where is the efficacy of amnesty? Or where is the efficacy of granting this bandit uh, amnesty? So for us, our decision is very painful. But uh, when you look at it thoroughly, you will agree with us that uh, is the best solution as far as this issue uh, is concerned. If you look at the situation in our state, in 2020, this armed bandit killed, a norm, killed 937 citizens across the state. And they also kidnapped 1,972 citizens. So if you are talking about amnesty, what are you, why are you, why would you not talk about the victims of this banditry? So it's a very complicated matter. Uh, people can sit elsewhere from a distance and look at the issue uh, as a very light issue. Uh, but for some of us who are here, who are deeply involved in the management of this security uh, problem, we can tell you better. All right. Um, t tell me about this, Mr. Arouan. Since this, you know, these attacks, you know, occurred in Kaduna State, has any government representative gone to console with the family in person? And what's the mood like in Kaduna? Well, uh, first and foremost, what you should know, uh, the nurses that were kidnapped are staff of Kaduna State government. And the students that uh, we are also kidnapped at the Greenfield University are citizens of Kaduna State. And uh, we have a very good relationship with the founder of the university. So issues like that, naturally, uh, Kaduna State government exhibit uh, empathy, deep empathy to, uh, to the families whose relations are in captives. And these are not issues that uh, we can uh, use it to play to the gallery. No, uh, you should know that we have our own ways of speaking with, uh, with really thieves of our victims without coming uh, to the media uh, to play uh, to the gallery. But uh, we are deeply concerned and the bond between government and these families uh, is clearly empathy and uh, the struggle to ensure that uh, those in captives are freed, I'll and LT. Sometime in, uh, in March, I think it was uh, two weeks into the month of March, 39 students were taken from the um, uh, School of uh, um, uh, First Mechanization, I believe. Is there any updates? I, uh, where, where... I can't hear you, I can't hear you. Uh, okay. Can you hear me now? Uh, can you come again? Okay, so I'm asking, I think it was on the 12th of March, 39 yes. students were kidnapped from the School of Forestry Mechanization, also in Kaduna State. Is there any yes. updates on you know, these persons? We are getting into the month of May in about a week. 
Is there any updates on these students? Have you know they been released? Is there still contact with them in any way? Well, uh, it is unfortunate uh, situation. Looking at what what uh, happened on the twelfth of March, and like you said, uh, out of the thirty nine students, uh, ten have been uh, freed. And uh, we are still on that uh, case, uh, exploring all the means that uh, we can, as a government working with uh, other critical stakeholders in the security uh, sector. Uh, this is the only thing that I can tell you. Uh, there is no justification for me uh, to give you, to bring you to speed on what government and security agencies are doing uh, militarily and operationally. All right, Mr. Aruwan, what would you say is the major challenge of a government regarding, you know, totally eliminating all security threats in Kaduna? Well, if, even though I don't get you well, but I can be able uh, to say that uh, security challenge uh, it's not something that developed over time. Uh, it's a very challenging one. Uh, from a distance, you will assume that it is something that you can solve within a twinkle of an eye. But when you are deeply in this uh, issue, you will understand that uh, it takes a lot of energy, it takes a lot of patience, uh, it takes a lot of innovation, uh, it takes a lot of uh, dexterity, uh, beyond what uh, one can uh, imagine. But I want you to know that uh, there are a lot of things that uh, have to be applied. You have to look at uh, the need to have uh, a good number of boots on the ground in view of the vast nature of uh, what, in, in, in view of the vast nature of uh, locations where these bandits are located. There are other issues that I don't need to talk about them uh, because there are issues that uh, we are aware of and we are working very hard uh, in order to uh, to address them. All right. Um, I think we might be wrapping up in a bit. I, I, I want your message from the Kaduna State Government to families of those who still have their uh, siblings and loved ones in captivity. Um, what's your message to those 29 others who are still in captivity, uh, those taken from the School of uh, Forestry Mechanization? And what's your message from the Kaduna State Government also to um, the family of the nurses and those who have been taken in the last 48 hours? Well, we share the things. We are in this together and we are doing our best. And by the special grace of God, uh, our efforts will not go in vain. All right. Um, I'm, I'm Samuel Arawan, thank you very much uh, for taking our time and speaking with us this morning. We, of course, hope that some of all these things uh, come to an end as quickly as possible. You're welcome. The efforts of the Kaduna State Government also um, uh, play out uh, very well. Yes, morning, thanks again. again. Thank you. All right. All right. But there's, there's, there's absolutely no easy way to explain that people who were taken on the 12th of March are still in captivity. Are still in captivity um, and we're getting into, into May. There's no way to explain this. We're going to be getting into two months in captivity. Um, yes, the government says there's not going to be ransom paid, there's not going to be negotiations and all of that. Um, it would have been great also to find out how the 10 have been released, what, you know, how they got released. Um, did they dance, you know, for the kidnappers? Was <laughs> ransom paid? So Was there negotiation? I mean, it, these are things that need to be known, you know. Some of Rowan didn't really share a lot, you know, with regards to that case. But there are things that need to be known. How are those 10 released? And what's stopping the remaining 29 from being set free? Um, was, was, you know, is there any communication with the kidnappers at all? I, uh, man. We'll Let's take a move away break. from from security to politics, and we're talking about the 2023 elections in just a minute.